let's bring in gender rights advocate Tessie Biobaku for more on this. Tessie, you know, it's difficult that um, with a career, with a family, it's difficult to go back to your parents and, you know, just spend time with them. You're a career woman. Tell us how difficult that is, especially on a day like this, Mother's Day. Um, it's very difficult. Yeah. Unfortunately for me, I've um, I'd already lost my mom, but um, oh, oh. I see my mom in a lot of great mothers around me. And um, uh, celebrating a day like this just brings back the good memories um, of when my mom was around. And also, um, it makes me understand what how precious it is to be a mother to my children. Mm, very interesting there. You know, sometimes a lot of persons say, why do we always celebrate Mother's Day? But, you know, the fact that, uh, just like our reporter said in his report, putting up that poem, that's, that's one of like the first poems we learned while we were in school. My mother, who sat and watched my infant Ted. But how should we celebrate our mothers when it comes to, at times like this, juggling work, family, and still also remembering our parents? Mothers... Um is a, is 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 some mothers you can't um say you can't celebrate your mom i mean um you must always have them in your mind in your heart you know mothers are our first teachers they are mentors mm -hmm. and when you look at the beauty that comes with motherhood mo mothers are they are they are people that sleep with their eyes open um mm -hmm. they are like candles they they, they are ready to consume themselves to just light up the light in other people. Um, so it's a priority. It's something that we need to, we must know that we have to celebrate our mothers. It's, it's, it, consciously, unconsciously, you find that you always have the touch, the heart, the mind of your mother in, in your life. And the best way to celebrate them, especially with this uh, social distancing that is um, happening. I mean, yeah. celebrating Mother yeah. Day today uh, with uh, the COVID-19, it's, um, it's not easy. Um, I'm someone that I love to cuddle. I want to hold my children. Mm -hmm. uh, if my mother was here, I want her to hold me. And probably maybe if I was around uh, where my mother-in-law is at moments like this, I want to be held in her hands, you know. But um, we must um, observe this, you know, to preserve life, especially in the lives of um, our mothers are probably like uh, in their 60s, 70s. You know, it's important that... Um, we take precautions. Especially now that we know that they are the fall in that gap of being vulnerable to COVID-19. Uh, Tessie yeah, Biobaku, yeah. thank you so much. For